you never quite know what direction the festival's gonna go in, but you know it's gonna be on the waterfront and it's gonna be weird. Grace Potter's <laughs> Grand Point North Festival is back for a ninth year. The theme this year is um, friends old and new. The Potter family still lives in Waitsfield and this annual festival is a family affair. This is really just a reunion. We look forward to it all year long. Grace's sister Charlotte runs Grand Point Weird an arts festival just steps away from the main stage. We have a number of pieces exhibiting inside from furniture to a handmade boat. A featured attraction, an arch made from shopping carts donated from a popular grocery store in the Mad River Valley. The work under the tent, all produced by students and instructors at the Yester Morrow Design School. It's our 40th anniversary next year. There's a canoe, furniture, and even a tiny house, which Yester Morrow instructor Chrissy Bellmeyer built and lived in for two years. Do you ever get tempted to kind of move back into it totally we get into like a little like lovers quarrel at home and I'm like that's it I'm going to the tiny house for Ponder the festival on the waterfront is a homecoming everybody up here that's building these stages and putting on this festival including myself are Vermonters and we're proud of what we've built her one and a half year old son now old enough to come see his mom play hi Sagan hi the festival kicking off before a milestone. Next month, her second solo album is set to debut. I am going to play a lot of, of new material this weekend. I'm really excited about that.